Jose Luis Gonzalez opened his restaurant here in Manila about a month ago. He left Spain just when the economic crisis was about to begin. Moving to the Philippines, he says, was one of the best business decisions he has ever made. Right now in Spain, nobody's spending money. So it's no money, it's, it's, I mean, it's no fluid. It's, here is the complete opposite that is what's happening in Spain. It's the, the, you know, white coin, the other side of the coin. So here people want to spend, wants to go out. As the European economic crisis continues, more and more people there are leaving to seek a better life in the world's emerging economies. And the Philippines is one of the top destinations to do just that. Government figures show the Philippine economy has grown by almost 7% last year amid a weak global economic backdrop. And some analysts here say President Benigno Aquino's campaign against corruption and sound fiscal policies have also increased foreign direct investment. Frederick Levy moved here from France six years ago, and in just a few years, he has set up one of the biggest online shopping sites in the Philippines. He says the difference between the Philippines and Europe right now is hope. Two years ago, your first reflex was not, oh, I want to go to Asia, of course I'm going to Philippines. It was India or China. Definitely you can feel that there was already an energy in the air. There is reason to that. 50% of the population is very young. They are very fast to um, adapt themselves to, to, to changes. Analysts say a boost of confidence in the Philippines has a lot to do with an improved reputation. For a long time, the Philippines has been seen as a, uh, an admin out in Asia. But what has changed literally is the, is the perception. So with this good perception of uh, the president, of what he's doing in the country and, and understanding that he's, he means business, uh, people, are, people are looking at the Philippines in another light. But the Philippines still has a long way to go to catch up to its neighbors like Singapore and Thailand. And businesses here say improving its economic policies has been slow. And although many worry whether the country can sustain its growth, Jose Luis says he remains confident. He says he feels better off being away from home, at least for now. Jamal Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.